Hi there, hello everyone, this is your chef Ciao Bello Cookie for Blocks. If boy can do it, girls can do it better. So today I'm gonna make a simple recipe, pizza dough. Wait with me, bear with me a second. So pizza is the most love food, it's quick and easy, it's a snack, you can have a brunch, you can have a lunch, you can have a snack in the afternoon. Why not? You can have it for dinner. Some people having <laughs> pizza for breakfast, imagine it. They wake up, they warm up, drum in, say why not? So what we got? 500 grams of flour. Here we got both, just sieve it. We're using a, a sieve, nice and simple, right? So do you can carry. See what fruit, just 500 grams. This is like a portion of two pizza. Look at that nice and sift. Alright guys, so what I did, I put some yeast in a hot water, high barbie. So just to make it live again, to see if the froth, if it's still good, if it's still alive, it's nice and alive. Can you see it? The froth look like an espresso. So now, using half a ratio of the flour, remember this technique, you can't go wrong. So I put 500 gram of flour, I'm gonna put 250 milligram or warm water. I use a boil, I put cold water, but it's still too hot. We want it warm, not too hot. So it's warm enough. Now it's still too hot, some more water. So I put too much water now. All right. Here we go, about 250 milligrams. Yeah, it's warm enough. So you got this, you got that. Simple, the chicken curry, pour your yeast in it. So we got the yeast, and I start to work your dough. See what I mean? Until you make an homogeneous paste. And this is good stuff. So what we're doing, now that you mix the yeast, you can start to pour a little bit of sugar because what does the sugar give it food, right? And what else you do? Put a little bit of salt. It's not finished, it's not finished. Piacere. It's not finished. So you can always help yourself with some flour if you think it's too sticky. Why not? You always have to have a surface with flour. Look at that, nice and warm. It's already got, it's already got comp. So what we're doing here, because everything goes around the yeast, right? We put olive oil. So do you know what I mean? The warmth of the water, the sugar, the salt, the olive oil, which is food for the, for the yeast. That's how the yeast grows. Do you know what I mean? So this is a mixture, it's an extra virgin olive oil, a sunflower oil, nice and light. You can cook with it, you can put on the salad, you can do pretty much everything for it, right? So we put about, say 20 gram, 20 milligram, I mean, something like that. Because if you put extra virgin olive oil, the base, it becomes too, too heavy, too soggy when you cook. But this is more fragrant, lighter, lighter to the to the crust, lighter to the bite. See what I mean? It is beautiful. So what we do in here, we work on the surface. So I hope the camera will face me. So we go here. A nice base. And I will work our dough out. So you stretch the dough and you come back with the dough. Simple as that. Look at that guys, look at that, nice and soft, that's how you want to be sticky, you know what I mean? And we put the flour on the surface, we should have worked with it. Nice one, guys, this is two minute job, three minutes job, four minutes the top, you understand? Get a compact thing. Alright, look how nice and sticky it is. 
that's how you want your pizza though. Nice and soft. And we grow double its side. So the job you do it, it's no waste. Alright, this is all the flour. So maybe I pour a little bit more liquid because I put the yeast there as well. Always work with a socket of flour next to you. Simple, done. You see, it's already got the compost. And you're making a nice bowl out of it. Done. Perfect. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect as this. That is your pizza dough. Leave it for at least two hours, right? I'll tell you why. Because you want your yeast to grow properly. Because otherwise, if you cook, say, within five minutes, 40 minutes, an hour, when you eat the pizza, the, the yeast can on grow in your stomach, can give you a little bit of pain, which is inconvenient after you have a good pizza. Do you understand what I mean? So leave it like that for at least a couple of hours. Say it's five o'clock, right? 7.30, I start to put the top in to roll the pizza by 8 o'clock because you need a 15 minutes in the oven because I do it nice and thick, American style, nice to the bite, right? Done, just leave it there. Prepare your top in, say, in a couple of hours, check the dough, give a final roll, make it nice and smooth. You will see double of the size. This is look like two pizza. It will definitely be three pizza, three pizza rub. I do like a two big American style pizza. Either the Detroit or Chicago style, depends what you fancy. Now, subscribe, push the subscribe button. As always, your ciao bello.